Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Today we're going to be looking at the Harbor Freight Black Friday sale for November 2023. That's right, this is a leaked ad with all the details for the upcoming sale at Harbor Freight for Black Friday. I'm going to break it down and tell you all the prices in here, tell you which ones are good and which ones are not. So if you want to go shopping at the Black Friday sale, you'll be a smart, informed shopper with all the information that I'm going to give you. So stick around as we get into this video. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the Harbor Freight Black Friday sale for November 2023. And if you want to see this sale and get your shopping list in order before the sale takes place, you can find this sale at my website under the Extras tab. Just click that tab and you'll be able to find this and many more different sales for Harbor Freight. And if you want to know where my website is, there it is right in front of you. Just copy that into your browser, type it in, and you'll be able to head on over there and find all sorts of great deals and information from Harbor Freight. All right, so let's get into this ad and take a look at all the details and all the information but before we get too far into this video do me a great big favor and hit that subscribe button that way you stay informed every time i produce one of these money saving videos for harbor freight home depot amazon lowe's or any other great place that i can find to save you guys some money all right, so we're looking at the Harbor Freight Black Friday sale, which will start on Monday, November 20th. The 20th, 21st, and 22nd is for all Inside Track Club members. If you have a membership, you can take advantage of it nice and early. On Thursday, the stores are closed so people can spend time with their families, but you can still shop online if you want to do that. But then you can go to the stores if you want to on Friday the 24th, 5th, 6th, and the 27th, Cyber Monday. So we're going to go through all this and I'm going to give you a detailed breakdown of all the different prices in here and tell you which ones are good and which ones are not. And I know some of my viewers are probably wondering what took me so long to release this video because generally I release it quite far in advance, but I thought this is far enough. I've had these images on my computer waiting to make this video for quite a while. I got this leaked information a while back, but it was just too early in my opinion. I got them around the middle of October, right about when the parking lot sale came out and I didn't want to have two competing videos which would only make things more confusing for you what do you do you go to the parking lot sale or you go to the black friday sale what is it so i thought talking about the black friday sale too far in advance like a month and a half in advance was just not a smart thing to do even though some other channels out there have taken care of it but trust me it's not really that big a deal. You haven't missed anything. I know some of you have probably already seen it on other channels, but some of the other channels, everything is happy horse poop and all sorts of unicorns and rainbows and stuff like that. I'm not like that. I'm going to tell you the God on this truth here, and I'm going to tell you what's good and what's not in this sale. And also one thing also that another reason that I didn't release it too early is because one thing that happened last year that some of you may or may not be aware of. But last year, somebody put out a fake ad and they leaked it out to the public and some of the channels out there fell for it and they actually ran with it and made videos talking about that fake ad. I didn't do that, I didn't fall for it, it just something told me that wasn't a good ad so I didn't make a video too early with that one. And lo and behold, a few weeks later, Harbor Freight released a real one and all those other channels had to delete those videos and re-upload new ones. I didn't fall for it, I just made the right video right from the start. And obviously they didn't talk about it, nobody said anything about it, they just deleted the videos, put up new ones, like nothing ever happened. But since I didn't fall for it last year, I certainly was not going to fall for it this year, so I took a little while to make sure that this was the real ad before I started making a video on it. And another thing is that I don't like giving you images like this. I prefer to give you a properly digitized image instead of just a snapshot that somebody took of a newspaper. But, you know, that's what we have for now. That's what we got to work with. Harbor Freight has been a little bit difficult to deal with this year where they just don't have their act together because they want to go digital on all this stuff and then they go paper and then they go back to digital, then they go paper. It's like, I wish they would just make up their minds. I mean, people like us that are trying to get the information out there to help our viewers, we need information accurately and at an appropriate time, not just goofing around back and forth. But that's my little rant about Harbor Freight. Anyway, so let's get into this video and take a look at some of the stuff that's going on. And one thing I would say right off the beginning is that if you've seen other videos, you know that it's really not the best sale of the year. Normally speaking, you expect Black Friday to be the best sale of the year. Well, Harbor Freight pulled a Harbor Freight on you. It's not the best sale of the year. In fact, I can tell you that these prices are regular prices that they've had throughout the year. And I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. In fact, a lot of these prices 
were the same prices that you just had this past month in October at the parking lot sale. So I wouldn't call this a Black Friday sale, I'd call it a November parking lot sale. It is almost identical pricing to the October parking lot sale, as I will demonstrate. Anyway, so we start off looking at the US General 30-inch 5-drawer mechanics tool carts, and they had these on sale a couple of months ago as well. 190 is not a bad price, 80 bucks off. It's a decent price. It's not the best price of the year, but it's a decent price. And if you want to get these guys, you have eight different colors to choose from. Not too bad. This guy right here, the Badlands 3-ton off-road jack, 280 bucks. Not too bad. It's been a very similar price before, so it's not like a fantastic savings, but it's a decent price. The Badlands right here, not too bad. It's a little bit better than what it was a month ago. Badlands ZRX 12,000 pound truck and SUV winch with wire rope, 280 bucks right now. And let's take a look at the parking lot sale. And here we are looking at the parking lot sale. This is on my website as well for October 2023, right? So let's scroll down. And here we have, there you have the Badlands ZXR 12,000 pound winch, 300 bucks even, right? So now you can get it for 280. So it's a little bit of a good savings there. You get a little extra boost right there, a little bit of extra savings. So that's not too bad. If you've been looking for that guy, that is a pretty darn good price right there. Now looking at this guy over here, here we go with the Hercules 12 inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw with shadow guide. Right now you can get this guy for 300 bucks. 100 bucks off you think, right? That's a big savings right there. Well, is it? Well, let's look right here again at the parking lot sale, October parking lot sale. How much was it? 300 bucks at the parking lot sale as well, 100 bucks off. So not much of a difference there, is it? That is the standard price that they normally drop it down to. So here we go with the rest of this stuff. Let's go with the 37 to 80 inch full motion TV mount. Not too bad at 28 bucks, that's a decent price. Here you go with the one half inch composite air impact wrench with twin hammers, 1200 pound capacity, 95 bucks. That's a decent price, but that's almost very, very similar to what it runs on a regular basis. Normally it'll be like 97, 98 dollars around there. And let's look at the Hercules up here before we get carried away and go too far down. Buy any of these two kits, get a secondary battery for free. 98 bucks right there. That's not too bad, but that's similar to what it's been before. In fact, the Bauer, they are doing something very similar. We'll look at it in a little bit, but I'll tell you why the Bauer is not a great deal. This may be a good deal. I can't find any comparison that I can give you right off the bat. Because I only went back like two or three months. I didn't want to go back six, seven, eight months. Because I know people are going to say that, well, that's just too far back. So I didn't want to do that much. Anyway. So then let's look right here at the Flux 125 welder from Chicago Electric, 88 bucks right now. Well, how does that compare? Well, when you look right here at the October parking lot sale, it was 89.99, 90 bucks. So that's a few dollars extra on that one. That's not too bad. So it goes down to 88 bucks. So you save like two bucks more. So that's a decent drop right there. I mean, you know, it's a couple of bucks more. What, what can you do? That's not too bad. The Titanium Easy Flux 125 amp welder, 148 bucks. That's about a normal price right there, 32 bucks off. You have this horizontal shaft gas engine from Predator, 100 bucks even, 50 bucks off. That's a normal price, not a colossal savings. Here we go with the Pittsburgh three ton low profile floor jack with rapid pump. A lot of times this guy will drop down to 99 bucks. So 95, you get an extra few dollars off of that one. In fact, you can see it right here at the parking lot sale. It was 99.99, 100 bucks. So right now you get a little bit more of a savings. You get it at 95. So that's five bucks more that you get to keep in your pocket. And here we go with the Hardy 5 mil nitrile powder free gloves, the 100 pack, 486. Most of the time it's like 586. So you get to save yourself an extra buck if you're looking for those guys. And here you go with the Prime Power Edge blue batteries from Harbor Freight for four bucks. Most of the time these are like five or six bucks. So that's a couple of extra dollars you get to save yourself right there. And these guys right here, the 10 by 17 portable car canopies, 180 bucks. That's about the normal price that it's been running for a few months now. So that's not too huge a savings. And this guy right here, you're probably thinking the Fortress. 
27 gallon 200 psi air compressor high velocity air shop compressor or the 26 gallon 175 ultra quiet shop air compressor 350 bucks that must be a fantastic savings is it really well here you go here was just here's another sale that took place just a little while ago expires on the 29th so these coupons were in effect right up until just a couple days ago and it was 349.99 50 bucks off so same price right not much of a difference there so again not the best prices of the year and here's little doodads you can get a little bit of extra savings on for a couple of bucks you can get yourselves a 100 pack of zip ties 11 inches ammo boxes for three bucks again that's very similar to what it is most of the time 400 pound capacity ratcheting tie down seven bucks very very similar to normal pricing this one is always around 10 bucks as well the 26 piece titanium drill bit set the fully polished combination wrench set nine pieces for six bucks again very very similar a couple of pennies difference here and there but very similar pricing and these guys right here this is a decent price here you go with the 18 inch magnetic tool holder a lot of times this will be two or three bucks four bucks around there it's five bucks normally so they'll take off a dollar or two so 178 under two dollars that is probably the best price you're going to get this year so i would say if you're looking at these magnets are very good i have like six or seven of them they're very good magnets for under two bucks that's a good price to get them at and let's look right here at these wheel dollies, the Daytona 1300 pound capacity self-loading positioning wheel dolly for 90 bucks. Is that a good price? Well, here you have these guys on coupon just a little while ago. You see right there, it expires 1012. So this was a couple of weeks ago. It was 110 for these guys. So at 89 bucks, 90 bucks, that's a good savings right there. You're getting a few dollars off more than what the normal price is. What about these guys right here? The Daytona 3-ton heavy-duty ratcheting jack stands, 28 bucks. They come in six different colors from 11 and 3 eighths to 16 and 7 eighths. 28 bucks for this guy. How's that as far as pricing? Well, look right there. Here you have the parking lot sale. Same thing again. Day 3 ton heavy duty ratcheting jack stands. 28 bucks again. Normal price right there, right? Same thing you got at the parking lot sale. That's what you're getting right here again. So not much of a difference on that one. Like I said, there's some good and some not so good. And here we go with the Yukon 46 inch 9 drawer mobile storage cabinet with solid wood top. 300 bucks for this guy 50 bucks off how good a deal is this well here you go this is a, from a couple of weeks back 10 123 that was at the end of september the september coupons it was 320 bucks 80 bucks off on that guy so right now you get a few more dollars off and if you look at it closely you notice that they have actually dropped the price on this guy you see right there it says 349.99 350 well if you look here at that time it was 400 bucks even so the whole thing has come down in price so you were actually getting a bigger savings on this coupon before than what you're getting now you're only getting 50 bucks off but the top price came down so therefore you're still getting a better deal so the whole thing over the entire year the entire price of the unit has come down so this is a good price to get it if you think it won't go any lower 300 bucks i'd say that's a fair price right there and here you go with this guy the 72 by 22 triple bank roll cap right there for 1500 bucks these guys generally they don't go on sale all the time so that's not too bad a price 300 bucks off that's fairly decent seems to be a new unit i it probably means just a new color they, they probably had this around for quite a while but every time they make a slight modification they put a new label on it it's not really new not a new item just some minor modification like right now you have eight different colors so there you go and here you go with the gold-plated professional edition gold-plated ratchet 3 8 inch drive from icon 34 bucks that's not too bad normally 60 and i think i paid a few dollars more than this when i got it with a coupon a while back so 38 bucks that's the decent price and how about this guy the professional adjustable shop seat with tool storage in four different colors from icon 70 bucks for this guy 45 bucks off is that a good price well look right here at the parking lot sale in October professional adjustable shop seat with tool storage 70 bucks 45 bucks off right there so pretty much the same thing that you're getting right here not much of a difference so that's what I tell you some things are very much just like the parking lot sale 
and these guys right here the tool set with case for 130 pieces 30 bucks that's about a normal price that they put it down to and same as this guy right here the mechanics tool set 225 pieces sae and metric 100 bucks even normally 150 50 bucks off that's about a normal price for it mechanics tool set 301 pieces right here on this guy 170 bucks decent price not a great price but decent enough pricing and here you have one from quinn the one half inch drive master impact socket set 61 pieces 150 bucks there you go that's not too bad this guy right here the master technicians tool set also from quinn 428 pieces 100 bucks off there you go you can save yourself some money on that one 300 bucks for that guy and always keep in mind this red area right here the liquidation sale where you have 78 percent off on hundreds of discontinued open box broken stuff scratches dents all that kind of stuff they generally have some section in the store where you can go check it out and they may have things with missing pieces to it broken parts scratches and dents all that stuff some people like that stuff if it's good enough for you and you get a great savings on it take a look at it if you're in the store and you may be able to save a few bucks on that and here you go looking at the 1,000 pound capacity engine stand. This is a new one, 80 bucks, 20 bucks off. That is about the normal price for that. Same as this guy here, the two ton capacity foldable shop crane, 40 bucks off on this guy, 330 bucks. Again, very, very similar to what it normally is. The 300 pound capacity low profile creeper for 25 bucks, 37% off in four different colors. I think normally this drops down to about 29 bucks. So 25, not too bad the pittsburgh 1500 pound capacity vehicle dollies two pieces 45 bucks that's a decent enough price this guy right here the ames 12 and 1 infrared laser thermometer 40 percent off 1478 that's cheaper than what i pay for it i mentioned that a lot of times i bought this for 17 dollars a couple years ago at a black friday sale but it keeps dropping in price but is that a good sale let's find out well here you have it it looks like it was the same price just a couple weeks ago at the october sale so not much of a savings there is it 1478 versus 1499 wow you can get yourself an extra like 20 cents off if you go to this parking lot sale there you go major savings how about this guy right here the braun 5500 lumen four foot linkable led hanging shop light 17.99 18 bucks is that a great price let's find out well here you have it the same shop light right there 5500 lumens four foot linkable led hanging shop light 16.99 wow 26 percent off that was a better deal a couple of weeks ago in the middle of october than what it is right now come on harbor freight what are you thinking a dollar more for the black friday sale that should have been cheaper not more it should have been 14 15 dollars something like that not a dollar more so this is not worth getting it's worth waiting for the next one how about this guy here the 500 lumens led rechargeable magnetic handheld foldable slim bar work light 20 bucks right now normally 30 bucks 33 percent off well here you have it right here again at the parking lot sale 19.99 20 bucks 30 bucks normally 33 percent off looks like pretty much the same same prices you had just a couple weeks ago you're getting them again this is the november parking lot sale folks it's not a black friday sale here you go with this guy right here some little safety glasses that are dark and smoked clear or yellow 94 cents little doodads here that you can save yourself some bucks if you're in the store and you want to get some inexpensive stuff performance work gloves for four bucks little pop-up lanterns for four bucks again this is just little penny ante stuff normal pricing on this stuff 50 percent off on this flag five bucks if you want to get that these little 12 inch tool bags with 21 pockets for four bucks not too bad this is normally around five bucks so it's not bad and if you want a 72 by 80 inch moving blanket six bucks not too bad again not a fantastic deal but not too bad here we have the jupiter 2000 watt continuous 4000 watt peak modified sine wave power inverter 130 bucks that's about a normal price for this guy and how about right here let's take a look at the jackery 400 watt peak output explorer 290 watt hour portable power station 250 bucks right now 30 bucks off is this a good deal well again it looks like not so much because there you go 400 watt peak output 290 watt out of our portable power station 250 bucks right here at the parking lot sale a couple of weeks ago there you go not much of a savings guys and how about this guy right here from badlands the apex 12,000 pound capacity winch with synthetic rope 530 bucks right now normally 600 bucks 70 bucks off is that a good deal 
Well, again, doesn't look all that great, does it? This is the same price they had just a couple of weeks ago at the parking lot sale. $529.99 right there for the Apex. Same unit, same price, same everything. So again, are you saving a lot of money? Doesn't look like it. How about these guys right here? The portable vehicle ramps, 13,000 pound capacity, 45 bucks for this guy. Were they on sale? Well, here you have them at the parking lot sale, 44.99 as well. I suggest if you're really curious, you can check all this out at my website. Go back and forth between the Black Friday and the parking lot sale they had in October, and that way you can compare prices on your own and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Same as this guy right now. We talked about this a moment ago, didn't we? 25 bucks at the Black Friday sale, 25 bucks right here as well. At my website, you have all the information available for you. You can compare all the two things between the different sales. That way you know what's a good price and what is not. Here you go with the automatic battery charger with engine jumpstart, 120 bucks right there. That's very much a normal price for this guy. And how about this guy right here from Centec, the 630 peak amp portable jump starter with power pack, 150 PSI air compressor, 70 bucks right there. Is that a great deal? Well, it looks like it was the same price just a couple weeks ago at the parking lot sale in October. So it looks like things are not all that fantastic. And here we have an Apache case right there for 100 bucks. That's about a normal price. The Avanti sprayer for about 200 bucks as well. Also a very normal price. This 800 pound capacity hand truck, 65 bucks. Very, very normal price. And how about this guy right here? The 6.5 amp, 9.5 inch electric pole saw. Now this one is not a bad price. 50 bucks for this guy. Because most of the time this will drop down to around $54. So 50 bucks, you get to save yourself a couple of extra bucks. This guy that did not have it at the parking lot sale, but I know from experience because I see this guy all the time. And since I own one, I always keep an eye on the price on this guy. Same as this guy right here, the 1750 PSI 1.3 GPM corded electric pressure washer. $69.99, also not a bad price because this guy generally only drops down to around 75 bucks. So an extra five bucks you can save yourself by getting it at the Black Friday sale if that's important to you. If you want a tarp, a reflective tarp right there, the silver one, 11 by 19 footer, 20 bucks. Again, very similar to a normal price right there. And here we go. If you're looking for a semi trash water pump, you can get that guy for 200 bucks, 90 bucks off right there. The wood chipper right now for 500 bucks and the gas powered earth auger for 190 bucks. Well, let's take a look at over here at the parking lot sale in October. Well, it looks like the semi trash water pump was 200 bucks as well, 90 bucks off. And we look down here, here you go with the wood chipper, 500 bucks also. And the Apache case right there, 100 bucks, the 9800 Apache case, which is what we saw right here. Same thing, 9800 again, about the same price. So you're seeing a trend here, folks. You're seeing how everything is very, very much just what it was just a couple of weeks ago. There you go. And here you go. If you want some electric tape, five bucks, that's about a normal price. 94 cents for some funnel set. That's again, a normal price. You get that on the dollar day sale. We see this every time I make a video for the dollar day sales. It's about a buck right there. Four bucks for these folding knife, normal price. These red shop towels right there, 50 pack, eight bucks, normal price. And I never recommend these guys. Get the white one. Don't get the red, get the white, because the red color always bleeds off when you get it wet. And you're gonna make a mess anything you touch when it's wet. This guy right here, the 1500 watt, 11 amp, dual temperature heat gun, 994, 10 bucks, normal price, good price though. I have this guy, I've had it for like almost 10 years. Still working just fine. Good unit to have at a reasonable price. Five bucks for these guys, that's the normal price. Here you go right there for that guy, five bucks as well at the parking lot sale. That is a normal price for that guy. Not much of a savings there at all. Now here's something interesting. Here you can get any of these kits and get a secondary battery for free. You can get the 20 volt cordless, one half inch drill driver for 60 bucks, 59.99. You can get the 20 volt cordless, one quarter inch hex compact impact driver for 60 bucks. Or you can get the 20 volt cordless, one half inch variable speed hammer drill driver for 70 bucks. Now, how do these guys compare? Well, looky here, folks, look at right there. Heck, at the parking lot sale, you could get the drill driver for 50 bucks. Right now it's 60 bucks. And you could get the hex cordless impact driver for 54 bucks. Right now it's 59 bucks. Hey, Harbor Freight, you're going the wrong way. Prices are supposed to go down, not up but they're charging you more because they're giving you a free battery a free battery there you go guys pay more get a battery to go with it 
So there you go. That's the way things happen sometimes. You can get this battery right there, 20 bucks off, 80 bucks. That's about a normal price. And this guy right here, the modular rolling toolbox for 55 bucks, very normal price. This guy, I know for sure, is 60 bucks because that is a nice round number. I always remember that. That is the normal price on that guy. And this guy, the 15 amp portable thickness planer, 300 bucks, normal price. That's what it always goes for. And here you have from Warrior, the 6 amp rotating handle variable speed reciprocating saw for 20 bucks. That is the normal price that it always goes for. Here you have it at the parking lot sale just a couple of weeks ago. Here you go. The 6 amp rotating handle reciprocating saw, 20 bucks right there. The 5 amp 4.5 inch light switch angle grinder, 15 bucks right there. The titanium coated high speed steel bit set, 10 bucks right there. What do we have here? The same thing. Well, this one is not $9.99. It's $9.83. Wow, save yourself an extra 10 cents. <laughs> there you go. So you can save an extra couple of pennies on these guys, but it's the same price they were at the parking lot sale. This is the November parking lot sale right here. Okay, how about these compressors? How about the McGraw compressors? Here you have the 20 gallon, 1.6 horsepower, 135 PSI oil loop vertical air compressor, $199. Is that a great price? Well, here you have it. Just a couple of weeks ago, the same unit. Here you go. Expires 10-12. And there you have it with the coupon. 199 right there. The 20 gallon, 135 PSI oil loop vertical air compressor. 199 on coupon. Same as this guy. How about the pancake and the hot dog? 50 bucks. Are those a great deal? Well, I don't know. Let's take a look. How about that? No, it's not. 50 bucks at the parking lot sale. Same exact thing for the two McGraws. Are we getting a fantastic deal in this parking lot sale? Not so much by what I can see so far. But like I said, if you want to buy some stuff, go ahead and buy it. It's there. It's available. If you want to go out shopping and that money is itching to get out of your wallet, go ahead and grab some stuff. Why not? There you have some Vulcan welding wire right there. A two pound roll for 15 bucks. The Hercules 20 volt brushless cordless one half inch high torque impact wrench with friction ring tool only 150 bucks. That's a normal price right there. How about this guy, the titanium MIG 170 professional welder 120 and 240 volt 100 bucks off 470 bucks. That's not too bad a price on that guy. This guy right here, the Omni Pro 220 industrial multi process welder 120 240 volt input 200 bucks off for 949. Not too bad. This one's generally closer to a thousand bucks. 999 something like that so a little bit off on that one not too bad the 17 foot reach 300 pound capacity multitask ladder for 100 bucks that's about a normal price same as this guy right here the chicago electric compound miter saw for 100 bucks again very much a normal price for this guy and a few different items down here if you want to save yourself some money all right guys there we have it that is the black friday sale for november 2023 i call it the parking lot sale for november 2023 because i didn't find it to be all that impressive or all that fantastic but if you did feel free to take advantage of all of these savings and get yourself whatever item you want i hope it makes you happy i hope you find something that is great for you anyway hope you enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye for now